How do you know the difference between a Google Doc file and a Word file stored in Google Drive? Well, I'm gonna show you the difference and I'm gonna tell you how to go from one to the other. So the first thing is we have our symbols here. So this symbol right over here, that will tell you that it is a Google Doc file, while this symbol right over here will tell you you have a Word file. So these are the symbols you wanna look for in your Google Drive. So let's head over to our Google Drive and see some examples. So here I have two files. It's the same file twice, Pirates of the Silicon Valley. You can see right here, I have it as a Google file. And right here, I still have it as a Word file. So this is how you can tell the difference. So the question is, how do I go from one to another? Well. The easiest way is to never do it in Word in the first place and to always just start everything from Google Drive. So you would click New, Google Doc, and go ahead and start from there. But let's say that you have a bunch of Word files and you wanna take them and put them into Google Docs as Google Files. We have a couple different options here. Option number one is to set your uploads to automatically turn everything into a Google file. So let's look at this. So once you're in your Google Drive, you're gonna click on the gear icon up here in the top, also known as the settings. Then you will click on settings again. You're looking for this right over here, convert uploads. And we wanna make sure that we have checked off the box, convert uploads to Google Docs editor format. This means anytime you go to upload a Word document, it will automatically convert it into a Google Docs. It also works the same for other things. Excel will be converted into Sheets. PowerPoint will be converted into Slides. So you may have already put some files into your Google Drive and you didn't have this setting set up. So you wanna convert them now to Google Docs. You can do that. It's gonna take a couple of steps, but it can absolutely be done. So let's take a look at this example right here, resumewizard.doc. So again, a couple ways I know that it is a Word document. I see the dot .doc at the end, but that's not always a guarantee because you technically can name a Google Doc file with dot .doc, but I do see that Word icon right there. And when I open it, I see this doc right over here. That's another way that tells me that I'm using something that is a Word file. And while you still can edit it and do all the sharing, you just don't get all of the benefits of something being a true Google Doc. So what you wanna do to turn this into a true Google Doc is to go up to File and click Save as Google Docs. So what it's doing right now is it's now made a copy for me that is in the Google Doc format. I know that it's a Google Doc format because I no longer see that dot .doc box all the way up here in the top left. Now that you've done this, you still have that original version in your drive. So if I go back to my drive now, I see that I now have two copies of my resume wizard, one of them being the Google Doc and one of them being the Word document. This is the same thing that I saw earlier with my pirates. So what I'm gonna wanna do is delete the Word version. Now, this is not 100% necessary. You really don't have to do it in order to keep using the Google Doc, but it just helps you stay organized and to eliminate any sort of confusion. So I'm gonna click on that resume wizard Word document. Then I'm gonna hold down Control or Command if you're on a Mac and click the other one that I wanna delete. This just allows me to highlight and delete multiple things at once. So then I'm gonna go ahead and click remove, and now those are gone. So I hope this has helped you out. Leave me a comment down below what you thought and if you have any other things that you would like to see. And as always, stay techie. Bye.